Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to do this video for you. It's a little bit different from the videos I normally do on my channel, but it's highly requested. I posted a picture on my Facebook and my Instagram of my new phone that I got. And all of you were like, oh my gosh, I wanna see it, let's see it. So I thought I'd just kind of show you the phone, tell you what I think about it, because I've had it for a few days now. And um, also do tie it into kind of like a what's on my phone sort of thing. Because I also get a lot of questions about what kind of like apps I use and stuff to edit my photos. So we're going to tie all that into one video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, first off, let's talk about the phone itself. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. So pretty. I got the rose gold. This is the 7 plus 128 gigabyte rose gold. And of course the box it comes in is gorgeous. Um, you just open it up. And again, I've already opened it all. Um, the first thing you see normally, um, this paperwork will be there. You just, this is the paperwork and it's got like the uh, stickers and stuff in it. Then the phone's laying in there. Um, it comes with the charger, of course. Then it comes with the new um, lightning connector headphones, ear pods. Um, so it's now got the lightning connector on it. And it also, though, comes with this little doodad right here. It's a little connector thing, little adapter, which is perfect. So you can hook your old ear pods in here, and this still goes into your phone. So you can still use your old ones, which is perfect. I think I'm going to put this in my car because I have a, an auxiliary cord in my car so I can listen to my music through my car. So I'm going to put this on there, I think, and keep it there so I don't lose it. So yeah, that's what it comes with. Um, I am loving this phone so much. It is so pretty. I got the rose gold. Um, it is, it's beautiful, you guys. I love this phone so much. The camera is my favorite part about it. Um, not only, I mean, the selfie camera is what's amazing to me. Like even when I take, cause usually the front camera on the phones isn't as good as the back camera. Now I feel like when I, I've been using myself like to take pictures just normally instead of grabbing my big Canon that I'm using right now to film, I will grab this and take a selfie because it's just that good of quality. They look so good and I love it so much. And when I have um, here in a minute, when I plug my phone into my computer, um, I'll insert like put the screen right here for you guys so you guys can see. And I'll show you different pictures and stuff I've taken with it so far because it's just such good quality. Um, yeah, I really like this a lot, you guys, and it's it was totally worth the money, totally worth the wait, totally worth upgrading to the Plus as well. I had the iPhone 6 before this, so this was quite an upgrade. I totally skipped over the 6S's and went right for the 7, and I love the Plus so much. Okay, so now you can see right here, I have the screen up for you guys. I think it's just going to be easier to show you guys what I'm talking about and stuff rather than trying to like show you the phone. So here's my home screen. I have a picture of my two sweet little kiddos on the background, of course. Um, I have the calendar, which I use, I use the calendar to this thing all the time. I put alerts and stuff in there. The weather channel app. I don't really care for the normal app that comes on the phone for the weather. So I downloaded this one. Um, I just, I like it a lot more. Safari, Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat all of the time, you guys. So go follow me on Snapchat. I love Snapchat so much. Um, Instagram, again, I'm on that all the time as well. I love my Instagram. I don't know why we like all these social media platforms so much, but I love them. I use, I'm on Snapchat all the time. I mean, excuse me, Instagram all the time. Facebook. Again, I use that one all the time too. Instagram and Facebook are my two main ones that I'm on. Um, but yeah, Messenger is just where you can talk to people on Facebook Messenger. Pages, this is where I manage my business page on Facebook. Unique, this is just kind of the home page for, you know, where I can check my back office and stuff like that. Just the home page for the website. All that is is the website that I just added to my home page. YouTube, okay, I have the regular YouTube app. Um, you can look at your channel and stuff like that. I have a few videos on there that are uploaded, but I haven't actually posted yet. So if you want a quick little sneak peek of those, there's a few there that say no views next to them. Those are the ones that are locked and I haven't actually like published those yet. So he <laughs> be on the lookout for those. 
Um, studio, this is a really good app to have if you are a YouTuber, like if you do YouTube videos, Studio is really easy. It's a lot easier to manage your comments and comment back to people and stuff like that. So I would totally recommend this. It's just a lot easier because all the notifications are right here. You can click. Once you click on them, they go, you can see down here how they're gray. That Those are the ones I've already answered or looked at. So it kind of helps you keep them organized. Um, this right here. Apparently the subscriber count on YouTube is not live, like it's a little bit delayed. So this is a website where you can go and look at your live um, views, live subscriber counts and stuff like that. It's just subscribercounter.com and it's not an app, I just have like the, the website posted to my homepage so it's easier to use. Um, and then Google Plus, this is just, I, the only reason I really have this is just so I can change my profile picture and stuff for YouTube and for Google. It's just easier to do it this way. Um, Pinterest, I think everybody knows what Pinterest is. I'm on this all the time, you guys. I mean, look, I've pinned almost 3,000 different things. I'm on this so much. Okay, here's the exciting part that I'm sure a lot of you are wanting to see. This is my photo video category folder. Time Hop, I love this app so much. If you guys don't know what it is, basically you can hook up your different um, social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, etc., to it, and it shows you what you posted um, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, etc., however long. I don't know how far it'll go back, but it shows you so long. Like two years ago today, I was in West Virginia. I mean, it just, I love this app. It really, it makes me sad sometimes though, because my kids are getting so big, and this reminds me of it. Um, okay, Word Swag. Love this app for adding um, pictures and stuff. I mean, adding words to your pictures. It, let me show you really quickly. They have different backgrounds you can use or you can use one of your own too. I'm just gonna type something and then turn this on if it'll work. Come on. Well, it doesn't wanna work right now. There it goes. Um, and then you can change different fonts. You can change the color. Um, yeah, it's just got all these different fonts on it and it's just a really easy way, quick easy way if you need to just add words to a photo real fast, it's an easy way to do that. Um, Rana Designs, this is kind of the same, along the same lines, you can add text to it, it's just got different fonts and stuff. But it also has like stickers and stuff like that um, that you can add. It's got backgrounds again or you can, you can use your own. Um, it's got different fonts you can use. A lot of this I've bought. This has a lot of like in purchase or in app purchases. Then it's got these little stickers that are so cute that you can use. And again, not all these come with it. I've bought a bunch of them. Pick frame. This is just where I um, make collages. I just, this is the, I love this app so much. Boomerang. I'm sure a lot of you know what this is, but I love this so much. Basically, it creates one of those like, GIFs or GIFs or GIF, whatever you want to call it, um, but it's really neat. Facetune, really the only reason I have this app is my teeth do not like to be super white for some reason. It drives me crazy, so I will use this app just to whiten my teeth. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a picture I have that I haven't done that already in. I don't know if I've done this one or not. I might have. You just click whiten and you just run your finger over it. I don't know if you can tell it's getting brighter but it just whitens your teeth for you and that's I, it's really the only reason I use it. Visco Cam, I'm sure most of you know what this is. This is a pretty popular, um, pretty popular thing. It's just basically filters and stuff that you can use. Um, I was messing around with it the other day. I use this all the time. I mean, it's just got a ton of these different filters. And again, I don't, I mean, a, a lot of these I bought too. This isn't all like, this doesn't all come with the app. And you can adjust the filter as well. I love this app so much. Um, Canva. This has been my go-to um, app lately for adding word it, wording to my pictures and stuff. It just, I love the fonts that come with it. One of my favorite fonts on this is called Brusher, I think is what it's called. Let me find it for you guys. It's just a really pretty app. Um, really, really pretty font and this is a really cool app. I love using this one lately. Snapseed, I haven't really played around with this one much. This is, again, it just has filters and you can adjust the the um, images, the brightness, etc., stuff like that, but I haven't really played around with that one much. Photo Mirror, again, I have it and I really want to play with it, but I haven't yet. It's just got these cool little, like, frames and stuff you can add, you know, to your 
for your picture. Rookie Cam, again, this is Rookie Cam, all that is is just more filters. iMovie is how I edit some movies if I have them on my phone, but I usually use the iMovie on my computer. Um, Pick Tap Go, again, that's just filters. Um, this is, I, I like this one though because you can kind of, here, we'll show the pretty kitty. This is our kitten that we have. You, this just got, you can lighten it up, but you can like put filters on top of each other. So I did that one and then you, you know, I don't know, use this one and you can kind of put filters on top of each other. Rana Collage, this kind of goes along with Rana Designs. It just has a bunch of different um, wall, new wallpapers you can use and stuff. And then you can also make collages and stuff with it. Netflix, we all know what that is. Uh, free prints, you can get, I think it's 85 free four by sixes a month and you only pay shipping. So that's a really cool app because I love doing, I love printing pictures out. Um, this right here is my finance slash shopping folder. Um, I just have all my banks and stuff like that. My Sprint app for my phone. Parcel Track, this is a really cool app for, I put, you'll see, I put all my, anything I have coming to me, especially this time of year because I shop online like crazy this time of year. Any tracking numbers and stuff I put in here and you can see like this one, it says out for delivery and it'll notify you too if you set up your notifications for it. Um, but I can keep everything in here that I got and I can write in what it is so I know what's coming today or whatever. Um, Jane.com, this is a cool app that has different stuff. It's just cheaper discounted stuff where they put on just and it only goes on there for a few days and then it's gone. Um, if it'll load, I'm sorry, my internet's so slow and it drives me crazy. I don't know if it's going to load for you. Um, Etsy, I think we all know what that is. It's just like handmade goods and stuff like that you can buy. It's a website specifically for that. I love that. App Store, iTunes Store, I have the Walmart app, the Target, the Cartwheel app that goes with Target. If no one's using Cartwheel, you need to download Cartwheel. It's got deals and stuff that you can do and use them in the store. And I love it so much. I use this app all the time. Anytime I go, um, anytime I go to Target, I always pull this up and see, you know, what's on sale. AdSense, that's how I get, I can see how much I make on YouTube every month. Um, Starbucks, Hobby Lobby. Holook is another app that has, um, it's through Nordstrom. It has different stuff discounted and stuff, but it's usually higher end products that are on here. Um, like Becca, Becca Cosmetics, I think is on there today, stuff like that. Um, credit wise, just to check my credit and then PayPal here. Notes, I use my notes section all the time. Music, I have my Pandora and my music on here. I need, one thing about this, my iPhone 6 had like no storage room on it whatsoever. So I couldn't keep music on there because then I couldn't have pictures and everything on it too. Now that I have 128 gigabytes on my phone, I need to download some more music to keep actually on my phone because I don't have very much on here now. And then Pandora, I use that all the time. This is my Bible app, She Reads Truth. It's a really good app. Um, I was looking at the, um, lock screens and stuff you can get on here earlier. You can download these and put them as your background on your phone. I love them so much. And then of course it has the actual, you know, Bible that you can be reading. Um, on this, this is kind of the page I don't really use as much, but I don't want to delete these. Um, any list, this is a good shopping list. Um, you basically, I love it cause you can just click it and it crosses it out for you. It's just easier than carrying a paper list cause I'll forget that at home. Blooms, that's how I talk to my kids' teachers at school and keep up with what's going on in their class. GoDaddy is how I maintain and um, change things for my domain name, my la thelashbabe.com. Maps, we all know what that is. Map my run, I use this whenever I do run. I haven't done it in a long time, but when I do, I like to use this so I can you know, keep track of how, how far I've gone. Two Dots is just a game that I've recently gotten into. I usually don't keep games on my phone, but this one's, I, I only play it when I'm like really bored and I'm waiting on something. But it's been fun to have. Then settings. And then this is kind of my folder that these are apps that I may use every now and then. But, and I don't want to delete them. But I don't really want to see them. So they're all bunched up into this little folder right here. Um, for my printer, the calculator, Audible, ESPN. Um, yeah. Disney World app for the once a year we go to Disney. I like to have that on there. And then down here I have my phone mail, messages, and photos. And I do want to show you guys really fast um, 
some differences in the pictures. Like this picture right here, I took this picture with the front facing camera, with the selfie camera. Now there is a filter on there from ViscoCam, but still look at how clear and crisp that is. I mean, I, I can't get over it. I feel, I, looks like I took that with my Canon. This is one I took of my kids. This is with the, um, I love the blurred out background. This is the depth effect that comes only on the plus, just the um, seven plus. And I love it so much how it blurs out the background. Um, this is another one I took of my dog with the blurred background. I took this one of my kids last night on our walk. I mean, look at just how pretty these pictures are. This is the road behind our house. I mean, these pictures are so pretty and they're just it, such good quality. This, uh, again, I took with the front facing camera, with the selfie camera. I'm just amazed at how good. And I love the live picture feature too. You can see it moving. <laughs> That is how I take selfies, but yeah, um, the a six I had didn't have that. I know the six S's do, but I, my six didn't have that. So that's a new feature for my phone now. Um, but yeah, that is, I, I love this camera so much, or this phone. I love the camera. That's the whole reason I got the phone, but I love this phone so much and it was totally worth the, totally worth the upgrade and the weight and the money and everything. So yeah, I hope this guys help, this helps you guys. If you guys are interested or thinking about getting this because it was totally worth it. So if you guys like this video and want me to do some other new kind of different videos like this every now and then, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye.